So let's talk about UDI example questions. Paper A, question number 3. Elastic tissue within the arterial system. And you see options. A low transitory storage of the major part of the stroke volume during the ejection phase contributes to the onward flow of blood during ventricular diastole, minimizes the effect of intrathoracic pressure upon aortic pressure, contributes to conversion from intermittent to continuous blood flow and maintains coronary perfusion. Let's analyze these uh, questions step by step. Elastic tissue within the arterial system. When we are talking about elastic tissue within the arterial system, you should think about aorta and in some part pulmonary artery, but aorta is the main and principal. Option A or option one allows transitory storage. When you hear about transitory storage, you have to think uh, about veins of the major part of the stroke volume during the ejection phase. So ejection phase means systolic phase. And how it does occur in a systole, left ventri ventricle uh, contracts and a push or pump uh, blood into the aorta, which can dilate and accommodate some blood that coming with high velocity and high pressure. Also pressures during systole and diastole uh, differs. Why? Because from uh, from the ventricle, it comes f in. Uh, it rises to 120 around, but at uh, 100 uh, millimeter of mercury, mercury uh, aorta opens and blood can come through the aorta. After the, or at the end of the systole, aortic valve closes and blood as well going forward to the aorta. At the descending part and to the organs and here is no stasis or no storage because I can repeat once again uh, here you, you have a high velocity high pressure uh, of the blood and option one is incorrect option two contributes to onward flow onward flow mean continuous of blood during ventricular diastole. Yes, diastole means close, close of uh, the aortic valve, but blood still going with less pressure, around 80 millimeters of mercury, but still going. It is correct. Number three is minimizes the effect of intrathoracic pressure upon aortic pressure. Uh, when aorta doesn't affect too much intrathoracic pressure, but inversely, intrathoracic pressure can affect aorta. Let me explain why. For example, in a normal breath, normal breath cycle, when you are inspiring, the air is trapped or pulled inside the uh, pulmon or the lung. For example, it is a uh, it is a right lung, and uh, intrapleural pressure. Uh, pleural space it is between uh, pleural uh, sheet and uh, pulmon and when you distend or dilate thorax during inspiring phase the pressure inside become negative but during a positive pressure ventilation during a positive pressure ventilation when air is not uh, is not uh, pulled from from the negative uh, pressure but is uh, pushed from the ventilatory machine with a positive pressure and it does change a little bit the imagination of the pressure changes for example during spontaneous uh, ventilation uh, when the intrathoracic pressure decreases on inspiration the transmural aortic pressure and therefore left ventricular afterload increases but during positive pressure ventilation um, intrathoracic pressure increases it is positive and transmural aortic pressure and therefore afterload decrease so it is it is not correct to answer option 4 contributes to conversion from intermittent to continuous blood flow yes it's the same around the same onward or 
and so continuous blood flow what mean uh, intermittent and continuous for example blood is coming permanently permanently and with interruption it is like a cycle it coming many seconds it it going many second it is empty many seconds it is full of of uh, blood and many second it is empty but it does not does not occur in the aorta especially and maintains coronary perfusion uh, during a uh, dilation of uh, the portion of, of the aorta uh, coronary arteries have a possibility to be perfused to, or supplied with blood from the dilated uh, uh, coronary uh, from dilated portion of um, the aorta and diastole is uh, uh, is the main phase of supplying the coronary uh, system with blood uh, here you have many links w from which I get the information you can access them directly I'll put them down the video if you like this review you can subscribe and follow the next following videos have a great day